Hi and uh, welcome. Now today I just uh, want to talk to you um, uh, about an event uh, related to uh, Pond5. Pond5 it's a, a music licensing platform but it's a hybrid uh, platform. I'm calling it a hybrid platform because the main objective of of Pond5 it's not selling uh, uh, audio content uh, meaning that uh, uh, music uh, and and sound effects but um, uh, they are more uh, axed more uh, uh, their main activity is really uh, selling uh, footages and uh, and uh, photos so uh, yesterday i uh, attended to this uh, event it was uh, on uh, YouTube and it was addressed to um, video uh, content creators so it was not uh, for uh, for audio content uh, creators but uh, I was very interested because generally I think that um, uh, in these kind of platforms in these kind of hybrid platforms if uh, there's an event, if there's something, some kind of changement uh, in their uh, their activity, uh, in their marketing, uh, whether if if related to to to, to video content, uh, I'm sure it will uh, it will have some kind of uh, repercussions uh, to the audio content also. But yesterday it was very clear that it was um, uh, mostly for video content creators and not for audio content creators. However, uh, I really uh, thought that those kind of information, um, those new uh, practices that, that they want to do uh, in the future uh, and the change changes that they are making uh, toward the video content uh, it will arrive to, to audio content uh, also so um, so uh, it is uh, it, it was really an interesting event and what is really strange is that it's not that long time ago uh, I, I created uh, footage where I was, uh, I was speaking. Uh, when it is a good deal, when it is time uh, to go uh, exclusive on, on a platform or accept uh, an exclusive deal, and uh, in that footage, I will put uh, the link uh, up here. I was talking that lately I saw a trend uh, in, the, in in different libraries. Those libraries were on non-exclusive. Uh, they tend now to go on exclusive and the one reason uh, what I found is that they were they they want really uh, you to tie a contract and assure that that um, that uh, content creators whether if they are video uh, content creators or audio content creators that that they will uh, will will come on, on on their platforms and 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 the material that they are uploading for for licensing for selling it, it will be exclusively available just for them and they will try to rebrand themselves and re and uh, re-establish uh, a bigger share a share market because obviously they are losing fear at this moment so uh, what I understood and what uh, Pond5 uh, uh, is offering today and it's not really an offer but they trying to convince uh, video content creators uh, that uh, there's an opportunity to go exclusive on their platform and what they are offering for, for this is a higher percentage and share percentage meaning that until now it was 50% of, 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 of the deal of the of the of the of the of the of the licensing of the leasing uh, deal and uh, and 
those who will go uh, exclusive on their on, on pond five they will offer uh, 60 percent of 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 the deal but those and this is what is important and interesting but those who are remaining on non-exclusive uh, deal non-exclusive contributor they will lose 10 percent so they will not receive as usual the 50 percent share deal now they will start to receive only 40 percent so um starting from april the 8th of april if i understood it correctly uh, these change, changements will appear so that uh, all the, uh, that video content creator now uh, they can decide whether they want to remain non-exclusive and whether they uh, accept uh, to go exclusive on this platform. And if I understood correctly, they they are giving like two weeks of, of time to to decide. Now. What I found strange is that obviously they 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 clarified uh, that this is only for video content creators, so it's not for audio contributors. But for me, this this really puzzles me because it 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 puts me uh, I, I I'm questioning two things. One thing is that it seems like. Pond five, it's not really interested in 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 the audio part, in the audio contribution and audio licensing development. Or, secondly, if he is interesting, then obviously in the future it will happen. And they will do the same move, meaning that one period of the moment they will ask for audio contributors to decide whether they want to go unexclusive and whether they want to remain in non-exclusive basis. And why I think that this will arrive to audio contributors also? Because if for video contributors they decided to give for exclusive contributor 60% and 40% for non-exclusive video content uh, contributors i think that this will they will do the same thing with audio uh, content uh, contributors because as i understood they were not happy to retain only 50% of the deal when a contributor in this case the video contributor uh, was um, uh, was uh, selling his video content in on, on pond 5 but in other platforms also and this as i understood was not very welcome and they started not to to like uh, this policy so i think it will come I don't know. Would, I think this year it, uh, they will do the same thing for audio content uh, contributors. Uh, also, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty much uh, uh, sure of it because um, today they have this power. I mean, there are so many contributors, and uh, sincerely, if today they are coming. With, with 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 this idea to the audio in front of the audio contributors and they will say well you can go exclusive we will give you uh 60 percent or we will cut 10 percent and we will offer you or uh, we will continue uh you can remain as non-exclusive on uh, on our platforms but uh, we will offer you only 40 percent well what an audio contributor will do Maybe he will go on exclusive basis on 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 pound five, which, in my opinion, of course, I really do not recommend for anybody in uh, in 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 this um, stock music business to go on non uh, exclusive. 
on these platforms anyway, like Pond5 Audio Jungle, 123RF Motion Elements, Lux Stock, and so on and so forth, production tracks and so on and so forth. Uh, but if not, they will say, okay, you can remain as non-exclusive, but we will give you 40% of the revenue. The split will be 40 for you and 60 for us. And what an audio contributor will do, but obviously we will accept what this company, what Pond5 is proposing, so we will accept 40%. And for them, anyway, it's a deal, because 10% from every lease, every sell, it's a huge amount of money, so this company will have huge benefit over, over this changement. So let me, so please tell me what are your opinion? Do you think that this changement, what they are doing uh, today uh, concerning the, the video content creators will really bring some changement to the audio contributors also or not? In my opinion, of course, I really think that we will have changes in the future concerning this 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 thing that that started with video content creators i'm pretty much sure that they will change the deal for us for audio contributors also they will propose the 40 percent of uh, non-exclusive deal and the 60 percent of exclusive deal i'm pretty much sure because um it is interesting for them one part uh, I'm pretty sure that they will have uh, audio contributors who will really accept to be exclusive, a tryout, because as I understood, for video content creators, they can choose to be exclusive, but then they can change their mind, like, you know, they just have to, uh, have to decide that they do not want anymore, and there is a six-month period, but they can uh, become again uh, non-exclusive. So I, I'm pretty much sure that for audio contributors also would be uh, audio contributors who would choose uh, to be exclusive. Uh, but um, so for them, it would be just uh, an interesting deal, uh, uh, you know, um, a, a good deal finally, because they would have a library, exclusive library, which they could uh, really propose it as an exclusivity for, for certain clients, and then they will continue to have an, a non-exclusive uh, contributor and music base, uh, but, and this is very interesting, they could cut 10%, and they could gain 10%, so we could lose uh, 10%, but they could gain 10% and 10% from all the, the 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 revenue the net revenue it would be really a big uh, a big change in a changement and a benefit a big benefit uh, for them so please comment below tell me what do you think about about this do you think that it we will have like uh, like audio contributors some kind of uh, changement uh, whether uh, in the near future or not and um, would you go exclusive if tomorrow uh, Pond5 would offer a program, a possibility to go uh, exclusively only on Pond5? So, thank you for watching and see you next time.